my favorite channel. Today we're actually doing a part three of our model because this stuff ended up drying just enough that we could uh, handle it now and I'll work with it by hand. It's still sticky though. That's what we have. As you guys can see, it's still liquid, but we could work with it a lot more now. We're gonna add a side to it. And where's P? Going to use a small piece of cardboard to finish this side of the ship. Maybe use this piece. No, it's too thin. Yeah? Okay, guys. So, here what we're gonna do is we're going to, we're gonna put it. Is this it? No. Is this it? Yeah. Alright. We're going to use what we have here that I showed you guys, and we're just gonna use it to help, like, board up the ship, essentially, and get the shape of the ship going so that we could finish it a little bit and make it flush like this side of the ship. This is our deck, by the way, so it's kind of off limits to use. Don't want to use this part because it's obviously going to be used for something else on the ship, but that's about it. This ship is not tall enough to be HMS Victory. I might have to make s no. I made the I made the back round. I mean, it's supposed to be, but it's way too round for any of the ship types. So we're gonna have to just make like um like a you can't make it. We can't make an English kind of ship, maybe. Like how I was planning to. Might have to do the Dutch or something. I'm just gonna cut that there. Alright, there we go. Looking for a piece right now I could use. This is a piece I used to test the glue earlier. It should work, we just gotta make it neat. Make the piece itself neat. Alright, there we go. Oh no. Alright, it wasn't anything too bad. Alright. Okay, now this side of the hull is gonna be kind of experimental because we're like, I like the we're adding the best parts of the other side, like 
to make it symmetrical, but we're so like we're eliminating issues we had making the other side, and we're, but we're also having new issues because we're also trying out some other stuff here. It's not all what we already did here, so uh, yeah, this side don't know about what what it even is, honestly. This side is definitely a lot harder than the other side because I'm really trying to mimic the other side and um like exactly do it like like 100% exact no difference whatever and um also I use most of my supplies on the other side so we have to use our gorilla glue which doesn't work very well for cardboard and paper compared to my other glue which worked perfect, but I ran out. I wish I had some more of the other glue because this glue is really hard to work with. I want to let you guys know that. Uh, this glue is extremely hard to work with. <laughs> like, almost impossible to work with, in my opinion. I actually do hate Gorilla Glue. Like, specifically for this. Like, I hate their clear... I haven't used other Gorilla Glue products, but from what I've used, I hate brand as a whole for what I've used because of like this this is terrible man this is terrible like come on no one wants to keep their hands latched onto a small project for hours like just just to get your glue to set not even like completely dry or settle just to set just to get like start start the process it's kind of wrong in my opinion and then like you, you like expect like your glue are exp it's expensive too and then like it's weak on top of that when it dries it's really weak i don't know if i if this is a bad batch or what but it's terrible i hate it i hate using it i can't keep my hands i can't take my hands off it it's messy it's like forcing me to do it like this it's like yeah i it's forcing me to use my money on it when i don't necessarily pref like like how it works no i'm pretty sure everyone that's ever used a gorilla glue product hates the gorilla glue itself it's terrible except for that hair woman but she she probably hates some more after that hair thing but she had some not like yeah she had some real courage to um trust Gorilla Glue for her hair though well she probably knew since it was terrible and it took a long time to dry it'd probably be liquid by the time she got back so yeah you know she, she probably thought it'd work out that's the only time Gorilla Glue dried I bet you that the only time it ever dried decently in history like I'm talking a whole history of mankind, like Ted, like um TED Talk kind of stuff, and like I'm talking like Ed Puzzle and TED Talk kind of history, like that time. I'm talking about all of human history. Fastest gorilla glue to ever dry has been because of, um, yeah. Yeah, this is so messy. I hate this. I hate using this product. I'm not a fan of this product in general. I don't like using it. I don't want to use it. But it's my only choice right now is to use this product. And I wish I never touched it in my life. Just doing, doing something so simple. My hands are... So messy with this stuff. While I could take 
literally any other brand of glue in the whole entire universe, I could take five. Elmer's would dry faster. I'm talking about Elmer's school glue. And you know when the school glue dries fast? Faster than something that's actually an issue, whatever other glue that is, because... Yeah, no offense on Elmer's, but this glue is really slow. The glue takes a long time to dry. Sort of. I mean, this this glue's an okay gap filler, I guess. But why why would you want it as a gap filler? When you're trying to use it to glue stuff. They just want you to come back for for more. Use your money on more Gorilla Glue so that you could try their other products to see if they're better. But then it's not. And it may be because this is wood glue or some other sort of glue that I'm using it for cardboard but and paper. But, you know, still don't like it. Also, Elmer, Elmer's is a classic, but it, it, it's, it's, pre it's pretty bad. But just because it's a classic glue we all use, you gotta give that to Elmer's. You can't blame Elmer's. We can't say anything bad about Elmer's. Well, we can, but we all have our Elmer stories. All the bad things about that brand. The glue. All the kids that used to eat that stuff. All the kids that eat it now. At least their glue is non-toxic. Like, what is, what's in the Gorilla Glue? Probably a billion different chemicals that are meant to be toxic. Meant to kill. I mean, it'd be a pretty good sealant now for, like, sealing up paint and stuff. It looks like I rub, like, a glossy substance on my hands. My hands are quite literally shiny. Oh, can't even take it. So sticky, you feel uncomfortable. Oh, wrong stuff. Wrong stuff. Take that. It dry so fast on your hands. Can't dry anywhere else though. I have a plan. Uh -huh. Yeah, alright. Still bad, but not as bad. So, like a thousand times better. Making sure it charges has an IR blaster on it. Just trying to make sure. I, I told my friend from like, uh, at, like after school extracurricular. I told him I'd bring it so he could use IR blaster as a universal remote to turn on TVs and whatnot and to uh, have fun, control phones and all that stuff. 
but the fact that it has an IR blaster and I have access to it is probably a bad thing for a lot of companies and stuff, but yeah, I'm good. Don't feel like terrorizing the school for a while, so it should be, should be alright. One thing is that I started from the front on this side, and the other side started from the back. Because I have more confidence doing the fr I, I feel like I would, it'd be better doing the front first here, which might be a mistake. Because the back looks a lot better to start with, which is not wrong. I did kind of move over to the front early on the other side, though. One issue is that this plank doesn't want to stay curved. And that's the whole point, is for this to be curved. And for it to um, essentially mimic the front of a ship. So the whole point is that I need it to be curved. Actually taking it out and manually bending it, like over bending it, and then when it pops back was a good idea. Gotta do that more often. Now I could re-glue it with some more glue. All those cracks and crevices. I can let it dry. I gotta start doing that by hand from now on, bro. That was so much more useful and all and all that. Yo, at this point, it just feels like I just poured the stuff on my hands on purpose. It feels terrible. Like, I know, like, constantly you rubbing your hands together should help it. Note 3. Ah. Me and my friend came up with this earlier. I'll show it to you guys. Piece of paper or whatever you want. I'll be using paper in this demonstration. Put it in there. Hold by the grip. And boom. To close. Depends on your strength, honestly. I haven't used this phone in so long. Wait, misplay works on this phone? I'm connected. I'm, I'm connected. Oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta hold that. See apps. Did I crash? Yeah, I crashed the phone. It was on 0% anyway. It's alright. I gotta have it full tomorrow though. All right, our blaster. Don't know how much percent, how uh, how much of the percent it will take up, but I'm pretty sure our blaster should take up a lot of battery power. I mean, it is a strong, it is strong kind of uses thing. I am charging it from a. Um, well, uh, I am charging it from. A portable power bank. But that's the end of the video.